Hey, my lovely Geminis. Gang, gang, gang. Y'all know all day, every day. So, Mercury retrograde in full effect, y'all. I've been trying to go live for two days now and have not been able to. So, I have YouTube checking it out. So, this is going to be a pre recorded reading. All right. The show must go on. The show must go on. Okay. So, this is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, check your Jupiter, your North Node, and um, what signs in your seventh house or your second house if this is a money read. This is going to be a random read, see what comes out, but it's usually uh, something love related for you guys. <laughs> We're going to see, okay? Now, this won't resonate with every single Gemini that watches, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest, all right? Also, you guys can email me about personal readings. I also have the numerology reports until the end of February for your 2022 year, okay? Also, your tarot card for the year um, as well. You guys have been doing great with emailing me about those. And I appreciate your guy, you guys' patience, you guys, while I'm um, going through those, okay? So, let's get started. Hopefully, I'll be live tomorrow or Monday. Woo! All right, so that's too many, but I will take the top one. So, the first one that came out was Adversity, uh, Gemini's. So... What could this possibly mean? I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So some of you guys might have some issues going on, um, may have maybe going through some challenges or have overcome some challenges because after adversity came out, you got success that came out. So it says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Okay. So I feel like if you haven't, uh, I feel like, yeah, this may turn into a love reading. We will see. But um, this could also be loving what you do for money, loving what um, what you do like with your family and everything like that. Let me get one more or maybe two. Gemini's. You got worry. So are you guys worried about something? It says, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So some of you guys might be learning how to um, detach and finally we have humor i love to see this so we have i choose to focus on the lighter side of life okay so i feel like some of you guys might be detaching from something um or someone take it how it resonates gemini it doesn't have to be that okay uh but we will see what comes out for you guys okay Oh, so we have the emperor. I believe y'all got y'all got this in y'all last reading. Maybe not. They may have been uh, Libra. The six of cups on the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys might be um, dealing with an Aries or someone that has these qualities, or this could be you in this emperor energy. You're kind of like, mm, sorry, not sorry. It's not working for me. The page of wands. Okay. Some of you guys might be um, needing to take some type of adventure or take some type of risk. The King of Pentacles on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm getting something, but I'm going to pull another card first before I say it. <laughs> I'm going to pull a little, another card. And this Emperor, guys... This goes really well with the humor card because I feel like this this could be someone you might be taking things a little bit too seriously. So if you're dating, you might be taking it too seriously. If you're, you know, trying to start a new project with this page of wands, you might be too hard on yourself. You might be being too strict um, and everything like that. So keep that in mind, Gemini's. If you're being too hard on yourself, you're being too hard on others. Whoa cards are of course going everywhere um not going to take all these but i will show you guys what came out as soon as i pick up the cards that just fell all over the place all right hold on y'all guys i probably 
promise you it wouldn't be a Gemini read unless cards fly all over the place. <laughs> all right, y'all. So what flipped out, I'm not going to take all these, but the tower came out, the four of cups came out, and the seven of cups came out. So, oh, and the page of cups is on the bottom of the deck. Lots of page energy. Are, is some of you guys dealing with someone younger than you? Are you um, starting something new with someone? Starting a new project. I'm getting apprentice vibes going on, gems. Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles. Yes. Okay, so Gemini, some of you might be, uh, whatever this new project is, um you might be uh becoming very successful at it and it's going to bring you a lot of um abundance okay lots of abundance i am kind of sensing uh, another person guys okay i am feeling like that um The Hierophant. Mm, is there more than one person here? Oh, see, soon as I said that, Gemini, soon as I said that, look what I see at the bottom of the deck. The lovers. Mm, well, <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I, I see man okay so I'm going I'm going to take these two cards because they came out with a bunch of other cards but the tower and the four of cups came out again so I'm going to take those because um they're coming we're seeing that for a second time so the tower came out and the four of cups is out out here so I feel like you're definitely um going through some type of um tower moment Ooh, but look what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Wands. So I feel like Gemini. Someone took you for granted. Mm-hmm. Yepperoni, yepperoni. <laughs> Someone took you for granted, Gemini. Someone had you in their life. Someone had you in their grasp. And they took you for granted. Or someone is taking you for granted. Um, Gemini, take it how it resonates. What else, Spirit? I'm going to get one more from this deck. And then I want to pull from another deck. Yeah. You cut somebody off. It's just like you don't want to... The Eight of Pentacles came out with the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you guys are more so focusing on yourself and not necessarily a relationship in particular. It could be someone at a distance or someone's waiting to hear from you or you're waiting to hear from someone. Take it how it resonates, um, Gemini. But I do feel like um, someone with this tower here in this four of cups, I feel like someone took you for granted and you walked away from them and... Um, now they're feeling some type of way. Now they feel like, why didn't I show Gemini a little bit more appreciation when I had them? Because now I feel like a lot of you guys are just kind of in this energy. Like, you know, you just just kind of chilling. You just wanting to um, do you, build your finances. And if that's not the case, uh, spirit might be guiding you to uh, focus more on your finances. Some of you guys might need to... Uh, get into some type of spiritual work it doesn't necessarily have to be like tarot but you know there's a lot of spiritual things that you could do some of you guys might need to write as well i'm getting with the page of wands energy um may need to write the emperor here is someone that is extremely stubborn okay i feel like someone just kind of wanted everything their way this could also be you right now gemini you are just kind of like not really with the bullshit at this point Okay, I think I feel like at, in the past you were like bending and folding for people, and at this point you're not doing it anymore. Why is this emperor here? 
Spirit. See, oh man, yep, the Four of Pentacles. You're not budging. You're not budging. Whatever this is, I feel like some of you guys need to loosen up though. Um, with this Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck, some of you guys might need to loosen up. Okay. The, I keep seeing the strength card. <laughs> Might be dealing with a Leo. But yeah, I feel like some of you guys need to um, get out of your head a little bit. Or be more a little bit more expressive emotionally. This could also be someone around you or someone from your past wants to be more, ex, uh, more expressive with you. With this strength card coming out, um, clarifying the Page of Wands. Some of you guys might get a text message from a Leo. That could simply be what it is. Or a text message from a fire sign. Or someone with fire in their chart. Yeah. The nine of swords on the bottom of the deck. I'm trying to tell you guys. Someone is thinking heavily about what they did wrong. Because guys, the tower doesn't always have to be like a fight or an issue. I, I'm going to clarify to see what this is. But I feel like with this coming out with the four of cups. I feel like someone took you for granted. And it's it's... It's becoming obvious now. So now with this tower, like everything is, is starting to crumble for them. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here, Spirit? And you know what? This Nine of Pentacles here is under success. So I feel like for a lot of you, there, there is going to be some type of financial success for you guys. I keep seeing the Nine of Swords as I'm shuffling. Somebody around you is just simply not happy. Oh, yeah. Y'all got some money coming in. The Ace of Pentacles. Y'all have money coming in. Okay? Wherever the source of that is. Ooh. And the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. Yes, Gemini. Y'all got some cash, cash, cash coming in. Some Or some type of financial opportunity uh, is coming in. And like, like I said, this could also be you where have kind of changed your focus from... Whoever this past person is to your finances. If you're not doing that, okay, Spirit is advising you that you may need to start doing that. You need to start kind of getting more so into yourself and your own goals and your own interests and not necessarily worrying about whatever this past situation is. Plus, if it's coming out, I feel like this is the energy for a lot of you that watches the video. Okay, why is this hierophant here? Definitely have some money coming in, some success. Whatever you're working on is going to pay off. The King of Swords. Very interesting combination here. So we have the King of Swords, the hierophant, and the Emperor over here. And we have a page of wands as well. Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Somebody's ego is going through a tower moment. The six of wands clarifying the tower. Listen, this could also be you coming out in victory after whatever this tower moment was. But I feel like it's either that, you coming out on top of whatever tower moment this is. Or someone's having an ego death. Someone's ego is coming crum crumbling down. And I feel like it's because you might not be giving this person as much attention as you were the king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Gemini's. If your money is not where it should be right now, trust me, in, in due time, it will be. Give it time because your money is going to be lovely. Just keep working on whatever you're doing. Um, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. So you still need to keep working on whatever you're doing. Okay? Don't quit. Don't give up. If you feel like it's taking a long time, don't don't quit. Okay? Because you are going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. Okay? If you're if you're looking for a job or something like that, keep looking. Don't don't stop because you will get you will find something and it's going to be something that's beneficial to you. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to pull another for this. Uh... you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. So, clarifying the four cups, we got the ten of pentacles 
and the king of cups we got another king here we got another king here so gemini's i'm feeling like again some of you guys might have um multiple people in your energy this could also be someone regrets not giving you this love offer nine of wands again on the bottom of the deck yeah someone regrets not giving you this offer and whoever this is wants a family with his ten of pentacles here or you want a family and um I feel like they want the family with you. But the King of Cups, even though the King of Cups is the emotional one, they don't necessarily express their emotions. I feel like they were holding their emotions back. And they wanted more from you than they than they let on. Gemini's. Okay? This could also be um you basically just just be grateful. If you have met someone else, be grateful for, you know, what they're bringing to the table. Okay? I'm just seeing someone's not being grateful here with this tower next to the four cups. Someone's not being grateful or someone's paying for um, their ungratefulness. Someone's paying for it dearly. And I feel like the, whoever this person you're dealing with, you were dealing with from the past or you're still in communication with, feels like you're getting ready to move on or you have already moved on to someone else. Because they took you for granted, uh, Gemini's. Why is this King of Swords and this Hierophant here? Y'all, the Knight of Pentacles again. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. This, this, you might be, this might be you, your energy if I can get it out. This might be your energy in wanting to just be single. And just kind of wanting to play the field. Because I'm seeing a lot of energies here, Gemini. And ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Some of you guys just want to play the field, date around. Um... Or this person feels like, you know, you you want to play the field and date around. Take it how it resonates. The Ten of Swords on the bottom. Yeah. This could be coming out of some type of uh, heartbreak or some type of betrayal or something along the lines of that. You're coming out of something that was restrictive for you. You're coming out of something that was painful for you. And I'm seeing nothing but good things uh, coming for you. But you do have some some past energy here that is um, still, still in your energy. As always, Gemini's, you have someone that's, that's kind of still lingering and, and not willing to let go. Yeah. The Knight of Swords comes out. <laughs> You're going to find out um, who this is. The Sun. For a lot of you, it's a Leo. Heavy Leo energy. Uh, could be a Scorpio. Lots of Scorpio energy. Could be a Taurus. Um, like I said, it could be an Aries. It could be any sign, you guys. That's just the energy that is um, in the cards that I see. Okay. Could be another air sign like you, particularly an Aquarius. Okay. What else, spirit? Whatever you're working on, Gemini's, is going to pay off uh, beautifully. The Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you guys um, are going to find your soul tribe. I've told you this before. You will find your soul tribe, but you have to manifest it. Okay, you have to manifest your soul tribe. I always get soul tribe vibes with this. Dream vibes with this. Um, but whatever you're working on is going to pay off. You may, you may even get a partner with your work. The queen of swords again on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I'm seeing this a lot. Okay. This, this is someone that is wise beyond their years. This is someone that, um, they use their emotions and their logic. Cause I think the queen of swords gets a bad rap. They make it seem like the Queen of Swords doesn't use logic or whatever. I mean, doesn't use emotions. She does, but she she kind of rationalizes her emotions, if that makes sense. Okay? She always likes to um, come in with a balanced point of view. Not necessarily a... Um, I just never realized the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is here. So some of you guys might be dealing with a... Um, a... Um, partner soulmate uh, situation two people that are very intellectual um 
one person may not be as intellectual as the other one. <laughs> the chariot, guys. Yeah. Ooh, the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. So with this chariot, it could be simply a cancer. I always tell you guys, a lot of you guys are going to be meeting a water sign if you, um, or you're dealing with a water sign. With this chariot here, I feel like you're you're trying to move forward. And this is moving forward with confidence. You might be moving on from whoever, whoever this past person is, and that is that is their issue. They have a problem with you moving on from them. Gemini's. Not sure why, but... The three of swords on the bottom of this deck. So whoever this person is, um, they do feel some type of way about you not moving on. This could, I mean, with you moving on, I feel like this too could be someone just moving, not hold, not uh, letting you go. Someone's just not letting you go, Gemini. They don't want to let you go. And I feel like a lot of you will get a text message from this person. The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of this deck. Again. Yeah. This person sees you as like, you know, abundance and happiness. Although they didn't show you that. They didn't tell you that. They didn't make you feel like that. The Three of Cups again, guys. This could be some type of, uh, huh. I'm wondering with this Three of Cups coming out. If there could have been another person involved. Because there's a Three of Cups here too. They may be with someone just to get their mind off of you, Gemini. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this could definitely be. You know what? <laughs> this could also be they feel like you're with someone else. They feel like either this person's with someone that they're not happy with, with this, with it coming out next to the four of cups. Or um, the four of cups again. Y'all, listen, I can't make this up. Wow, y'all. They simply might, they, they may just be unhappy with whatever situation they're in. They're not, they're not content with where they are. The Six of Wands came out with the Four of Cups. Yeah, they want to gallop towards what makes them happy. And I feel like if you're, you, you're the one who makes them happy. The Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else, spirit? You're the one that makes them happy, uh, Gemini's. Okay, for for some of you, they may not be dealing with anyone else because I saw the hermit while I was shuffling. But they feel like you're with someone else, and that's what's going to cause cause problems. Yeah, the devil. As I'm shuffling, I see the devil. Yeah. This person isn't going to just, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, wow, 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 wow. So we're just kind of seeing the same energies now, so I'm about to wrap this up. But we got the page of wands again, literally, again, you got, a lot of you guys are going to get a text message from this person. Could be a younger fire sign too that you're dealing with. The Queen of Swords, again, third deck. We've seen this. I'm trying to tell you guys. This might be how they see you too because you're not with people's bullshit anymore. Period. Like if this person's not coming with, you know, more than what they had last time, you're not going to be bothered with them at all. And they know that. They also, this could also be them wanting to come in with some type of truth. The Knight of Wands, again, I'm getting younger energy for a lot of you. It could be someone younger than you. It doesn't have to be. But this could be like somebody that's like in and out of your life, kind of has some player energy going on with them. Could be a Sagittarius. All right. And the lovers. <laughs> Y'all's energy here. Okay. So, yeah. They see you as their other. They see you as their person. But, mm, they feel like you are with someone else. They they feel like they might they feel like you or you have a choice to make because I'm seeing a lot of energies here. A whole lot of energy going on here. Okay. This is oh, man. 
All right, so I'm not taking all these cards, but the devil can't flip that out again, guys. With the five of cups on the bottom of the deck. So we, we have someone that's in, in regret. And like I said at the beginning of the reading, we have someone that isn't isn't uh feeling good or feeling great that they took you for granted and their their concern is and they're worried that someone else is making you happy yeah someone someone else is making you happy that's what their um their concern is yep the queen of cups and the five of wands yeah I feel like for a lot of you, if if there's another person involved, um, they don't want to deal with that person, whoever this other person is. If that's even the case, guys, it could be a cancer. Um, the five of wands here could be an if there could be an issue between them and this other person, or them wanting to come in and compete for your time and attention because they know that you're not um they feel like you're not single the king of wands yeah for a lot of you it's a heavy leo for, for a lot of you it doesn't have to be could just be any fire sign could be really any sign guys yeah they see things from a different perspective guys and, and this could also be them they're, they're pretty much taking their time to come forward or they've been taking their time. They've been in this hangman energy for a while. Okay. Because they're trying to figure out a way. How can I come back into Gemini's life. Without it. Um, without me getting my ego bruised. <laughs> Basically. With this tower here. And the four of wands. Uh, the, the six of wands here. I feel like. They they're trying to make, take the the easiest route to come forward because they don't they don't want their ego bruised because they don't know if you're with someone else or if you even want to deal with them anymore or what they could also be dealing with someone else. Um, Gemini, take it how it resonates. They could also be dealing with someone else. All right, I'm gonna pull a couple of love oracles, handwritten love messages, and. I will hop off of here. We have 27 minutes. Ooh, release your ex. So this could be soulmates on the bottom of the deck. So this could be you not pretty much deciding not to deal with this person again. And I feel like I get that energy every time. Every time I, I pick up on this energy for you guys, I always get the energy of you not wanting to deal with them anymore. Okay. You may want to deal with them. For some of you, you may want to, all right? But something here needs to be released. So whether it's them, whether they need to release someone else, religious factors. So some of you guys might have different beliefs. They may have different, um, like, family values and things like that that might be uh, causing issues between you two, Okay engagement yeah i feel like they they do oh give your relationship a chance jim and i <sighs> listen that's that could be for this person or it could be for another person all right take it how it resonates y'all know i don't um tell y'all what to do okay i don't tell y'all what to do also you guys i feel like this person may have um with that Queen of Cups coming out with that Five of Wands, I feel like they may have tried to make you jealous using someone else. All right, y'all, I just I just literally saw this on the bottom of the deck before I started shuffling. I'm not going anywhere. I'm trying to tell you, this person is not going to leave you alone, Gemini. They're just not going to do it. Even if you go off and get married and have kids or something. Never Lose You by Kalan, for real, for real. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this song. If I remember, I will link this at the bottom so you can listen to it. Let's see what else. I know you miss me. I mean, you know, you know, you miss me. So they feel like you miss uh, you miss them too, Gemini. And that might be true for some of you. You you might miss this person, missing you by case. <laughs> you 
yeah I want to see you right now yeah this this person misses you heavy 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 gems I want to reach out but I don't know what to say so they don't know what to say to you of course I'm telling you guys you're going to get a text message from whoever this person is you're going to get a text and the text may not make sense because I feel like they don't really know what to say I want you so bad you always get you always get something similar to that I know my pride and ego can be too much at times. Yeah, we talked about the ego in the reading. This person has a massive ego problem, but again, their ego has come crashing down because you didn't go chasing after them. You didn't go chasing after them. So it's it's come crashing down. They're probably used to being chased. With this three of cups, they probably have lots of they probably have other options. They're not entertaining anyone though. They don't like the, whoever, or if they're dealing with someone else, they don't really um, like this person. <laughs> Not as much. And like I said, you guys, for some of them, they are trying to use someone else to make you jealous. And it might not be working. I'm waiting to hear from you. Didn't I say this person might be waiting for you to reach out to them? They're not going to wait for very long, though. I really like you, XO. This could be for, from a new person, uh, Gems. This could be someone else. The bottom of the deck. I hope it's not too late. Yeah, I told you guys. I told y'all. They may feel like you, you've already settled down with someone else. You're already with someone else. All right, let's cut the deck. They don't compare to you. Didn't I tell you? If they are out here entertaining, it's, it's, not, it's not working. It's not working. All they're thinking about is you. All right, Gemini. That's y'all's reading. I hope it resonates with you. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe, guys. Um, and until next time, y'all. Peace out.